Imagine that you're a student in my class waiting for me and I walk up to the front of the class and I say, okay, so the way we're gonna spend the next hour is for you to open your books and uh, read chapter three. And let's just keep it nice and quiet so everybody can, can read, <laughs> read chapter three. Uh, I think you'd think that was pretty ridiculous. Now imagine uh, a second scenario. I'm a professor and I tell you proudly, I used to lecture a lot and now I don't lecture at all. I think you'd think that that's ridiculous too. These, these, these two prevailing practices, continuing to lecture in the way that we have since the Middle Ages, or thinking that we have somehow made some bold advance by eliminating the lecture completely, um, is, is pretty much kind of the, the state of play today with respect to the lecture. And our project is about kind of a third approach. And it starts with the notion that a lecture in the hands of somebody who, who loves the form, who can use this as an opportunity to create really an intimate, personal relationship with the student, that can be an absolutely extraordinary experience. The actual treatment, so to speak, is that we are not only um, moving the lecture outside of, the, of this very precious uh, class time, but we are obviously going to be doing new things with the class time that is freed up. We've built over the years a number of more experiential and reflective kinds of activities that really need to be kind of guided by the instructor, so we're going to have more opportunity to do that. But we are also going to, uh, before I come into class, I can get a record essentially of how the students responded to the, to the lecture video that they watched. And I can, I can hear, I can learn from them what are the key optimal places to focus. What, where were they most confused? Where were they most agitated or, or annoyed or disagreed? Where did they start making connections? Where did they have their ahas? And I can then come back into the class where I'm speaking directly to their, their, their biggest learning needs and their biggest learning opportunities so that the ahas that some students had might be spread you know, more widely. Uh, some people look at my Hilt project as a rather conservative one because it's about saving the lecture. But, um, I think that the project is um, not a conservative one at all. I think it's um, about a rather radical uh, replacing of the lecture that saves all of its positive values and takes advantage of our new um, technologies to um, eliminate most of its, its negative values.